The kind of romance. Air bottle. I used to romance. Ah, she's the queen of romance. Give I it do. to her. I, I think there's an assumption here that we hardly fight. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> that means more romantic and a better cook. Thank you for that as well. Please, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big lie. Finance before. We didn't really go with hope. <laughs> no, hope is not a plan. <laughs> Shall me. Don't do that. <laughs> hope is not a plan. That's you know, you know, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Karen Damlola Omoyele. If you are new here, here you are so 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 welcome i feel about faith family and lifestyle if you have been here before mm, you are our big hugs <laughs> big hugs we are hugging you thank you so much for coming back thank you for tuning in today's video we're going to be answering your assumptions about a little question and answer on facebook and on instagram and we got a couple of questions of uh, about your assumptions okay yeah. <laughs> these questions are crazy <laughs> crazy <laughs> Before we get right into the video, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. So, let's get right into the video. The first assumption. Alright. So, the first assumption is, I assume a miracle is coming for you both in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Big, big, big amen. We receive amen. it with joy and with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for that assumption. The assumption is, it's more of a question. Is it how old are you and your hobby? Let's tell them our age. <laughs> I don't know our age. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to my subscribers <laughs> like that. <laughs> Do not tell them your age. I didn't steal anything. I did not kill anybody. I'm not hiding anything. Okay. I'm fiercely 27. A whole whooping 27 years on earth. And talk to me I'm, with some I'm, respect. I'm 30 years. Yeah. I see now with three years. Put some respect on my name. But you're gonna be 31. You're 31 this year. Uh, well, I'm not 31 yet, so I'm 30. I'll be 31 this year, so it's. <laughs> Are you scared to be December. 31? No, it's December. December is still a long time. Okay. December is in. Are you three years older than me? I yeah. thought it was four. No, three years older than you. I've always said four. And that means not senior me like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Next has a person. <laughs> Please, is there any, is a question, is there any relationship without quarrels? That is, is there ever a perfect relationship or marriage? Mm, I think this would be good for you to answer. Me? Yeah. Why? Yeah, Why you, me? You have quite a vast knowledge on, on these things. Mm. My own knowledge and understanding, there is no perfect relationship because no human being is perfect. So how can you have a, you know, how can you have two people coming together that are perfect? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's and yeah. it's trying to no perfect thing as a perfect marriage. Yeah. No, yeah, so no perfect relationship. No perfect relationship. No, yeah. Well, we are both in a in a, in a ship that you need help. One person is helping the other, and you also are helping the other person. Yeah. So there's really nothing like you are two different people from two different backgrounds yeah so that alone is not perfect yeah. <laughs> if you were in the same background and the same people even the same even, know, siblings, even the siblings have even twins you know, talk know, more of yeah two different people yeah. i know something that i heard about marriage that struck me so hard was the fact that when you're getting married you're not just marrying a person you're marrying history Mm. and your marrying background that is so deep mm. so you're marrying that person yes of that person. you know yeah. and then it's your own background and his own background coming together so there ought to be clashes yeah and all of that so yeah all right so there you, there you have it the no perfect relationship or perfect marriage yeah, yeah. Uh, okay there's an assumption here that you guys hardly fight <laughs> that what we hardly fight do we? 
fight. <laughs> He's willing to fight. <laughs> Not like fights. Like there's there's a there's a Yoruba adage that says the mm, the tongue No speak I'm not speaking Yoruba. I can't even speak in Yoruba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't <laughs> the tongue and the teeth they fight too. How much more? So they are in the same chamber and yes. like when they are eating and you, you beat your tongue. Yeah, and then so, you feel very Yeah, so the I mean it's it's inevitable. I mean but you know it's not like we blow ourselves and deck ourselves. Yeah. We have misunderstanding. We have misunderstanding. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> it's your stubborn head. You, your head. <laughs> it's very stubborn. All yeah. Right. Uh, but said, to be very honest, I love what your marriage looks like. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. We thank God for grace. Yeah. It's not about our strength or our power. But we thank God. But thank you. Thank you. You have a two years age gap. Oh, you're almost right. This as I'm sure was almost right, yeah. but it's three. Is it three? It's three. Hello. It's four. How Me, I one? married you when we were Gen four years up, uh, different. Okay, okay. Our birthday is is is, is four months interval. See, our birthday is in August. Mine is in December. 27, so, 28, 29, 30, 31. Maybe it's four years old. So it's safe to say four years. That's fine. It's four years. Yeah, but you're almost there. So four years. <laughs> Four years. Uh, you see, you know, you... <laughs> Make I know the reason. <laughs> but I don't I don't disrespect you. No, Even you, if no, you are you one don't. year older than me. No, you don't. My head is my head. Yeah, brought up well. As siblings. Yes, so it's my yes, sister. So, ah, my brother. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. you are my brother. Because yeah, you're my sister. I don't have like a biological brother. So getting married, I told God that I want to marry my brother. So I look at him as my brother, my father, my my everything. Oh, that's so cute. I'm sorry. Next question. Well, yeah, sure, we are siblings. That means more romantic and a better cook. Ooh, thank you for that as well. Please, that's a <laughs> that's a big lie. Okay, that's maybe, a big lie. What, what happened? What, what is a lie exactly? Are you more romantic than me? What is more? Is it the cook you or know, the romance? Probably a lot of people feel like um you are more romantic than me because because they've probably come across the my two birthdays, you know, vlogs. Oh, if, and that if, is if why. you are judging on that basis, no, 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 no. no. Is it because I'm not showing Hello, you my Hello, sorry, own? now no shout, no shout. <laughs> Is it because I am not talking? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You better see. No, no, my baby is more romantic than I that. am. Not it's not like because she's threatening me or nothing like it's that, not but threat. it's just fact. It is what it this is. girl blows my mind. Yeah, Get, I do. It's it's just yeah. Uh, I cannot talk my mother and say. Yeah, we so you know something it's, that you know, I it's left too heavy. Said. My God, my God. The kind of romance I used to romance. Ah, she's the queen of romance. Give I it do. to her. I, I didn't really learn work. No. I didn't learn work. So most of the things I, I won't do most times is to match up to where I am. You know, you know, but, but I God cannot. Will, God will bring The truth is, <laughs> what about she, the goes, she goes to learn. Thank you. No, the cooking, don't even go there. I'm not even close to where she's she is. not. She is. He's not. I'm he not. doesn't. Yes, I'm not. It's yeah. okay. Don't shout. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> so yeah that that assumption was not totally true. Yeah. You both don't was not true, not totally. Like it's as if one part <laughs> it was not <laughs> well, okay fine. You, you are it's what? fine, you're it's romantic, fine. No, 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 it's but good. you're not more romantic. It's fine. But you're good. It's fine. Give it to you, mom. Thank you. Right. I think we'll answer this. We yeah. do. We do, yeah. You you not una know the argue. We do. Please, we argue. We, we argue. argue a lot. <laughs> we argue a lot. <laughs> we argue. We argue. But we argue scriptures. We argue. We argue lies. We argue politics. We argue almost. Yeah, we argue. You know, but we do argue. We do argue. It's a, it's a, some of our, sometimes it's just for us to communicate. Really, it's not because. We disagree on almost everything, no. We don't disagree on almost everything. On, uh, but we disagree but we, on something. We agree, actually disagree on something. Yeah. Else, yeah. So, okay, going. 
I love you guys so much. I assume you are both happily married. Yes, by the grace of God. By God's grace. We are we are yeah. we are definitely happily married by God's grace. Yeah. I always say that for there to be some fake marriages, that means there are real marriages. Yeah. So yeah. I <clears throat> I will always say that. The fact that social media makes it look like some people are pretending, it does not mean that there are no happy marriages out there. True. So don't um, use that negativity on social media to shut your ideology on marriage yeah. for you to stop believing in marriage. Yeah. You, because, for I mean, for that to be fake, then there, there has to be yeah, something real. real. Yeah. And marriage was God's idea. True. And God's idea is a perfect idea. Marriage is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And we're glad we're married. Yeah, we're happily married. Thank, thanks to God. Thanks. God. I see love only. Somebody said I see love only. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Somebody else said you both are wealthy with the go get money is no <laughs> i think wealth is not all about money mm. 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 yeah mm. let it out let it out ma. <laughs> preach you preach mama go deeper you don't finish you cannot finish like. you cannot all drop bomb like that and go away ma, go deeper go deeper wealth ma. wealth is not all about money wealth is not all about money um there is more to wealth than money yeah health is wealth yeah that's true grace is wealth that's blessings true. are wealth you know so yes we are wealthy in christ yeah but the fact that christ died <laughs> we have we have all we, we, are we have all we need in, in christ. christ yeah we have I'll, all I'll we need rather in christ. put it that way. yeah <laughs> so when you say my own is that how come both of you are this fine hey god oh I'm sorry. Thank you. Why is this finer than me? Are you finer than me? I don't know. I don't think so. But thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the compliment. Thanks I so appreciate much. that. And then the finance parts. Did you guys strike a balance before you got married or you just went in with hope? Hmm. I think basically while we we're dating, we spoke about everything. Every single we thing. We spoke about everything. We spoke about okay, you know um how how are we going to manage our finance we spoke about um is he going to allow me work we spoke about who is going to handle the money we spoke about um are we just going to we spoke about family you yeah. know we spoke about family generally so yeah. yes we, we 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 had a balance spoke yeah <laughs> because money is serious very serious yes yeah, so very we serious. actually spoke about money we communicated a, a, a little bit of piece of advice uh, um, before you go into marriage or if you're already in marriage and it's something you're not doing um finance is something that you cannot help but talk about yeah it's money very important money can can make your your relationship and it can break it mm. Even mm. Though, you know by there are times where you guys are all lovey dovey and when money just swindles down yeah. you will not see that love again yeah it's just the truth it's not because you are getting married to the person or you're in a relationship with the person because of the money but it just has a part it just has a role to, to play. play in that relationship yeah. you are not all for it so if you don't talk about it and get it clear that okay there will be times that we won't have yeah there are times that we might have to abound to and we we'll have to abound yeah you yeah. know you know those kind of things you need to know where to draw the lines yeah so that you don't get yourself into some level of you know issues yeah. we we had that conversations about finances so yes we did before we got in yeah and i feel like you should not be you should not be embarrassed talking about money yeah sure you should sure. not be embarrassed yeah. and the person that you're preparing to spend the rest of your life with should not feel like or should not make you feel like oh um is it all about money is it all about money or you're after my money why are you always talking about money because i believe that babe i believe that a lot of women want to hear that security mm. they want to hear that assurance that okay yes i can be able to take care of you mm. so even as if you're a man watching us and then your girl your you know woman is asking okay 
this so how far our finance how do we strike the balance between our finance our finance i don't think it's something that you should make should make you It'd feel cool, uncomfortable yeah. she just wants to know about her security in that marriage which is totally fine yeah yeah. yeah. So yes, we discussed finance before. We didn't really go with hope. <laughs> no, hope is not a plan. <laughs> Shall me. Don't do that. Hope is not a plan. That's you know, you know what I'm be saying this. Anytime I tell her that she she let's just ask me that where would the money come from? I'm like, don't worry, go provide. I said mm -mm, that's not a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Should I ask me how? What's the strategy? Ah, tell me what's your strategy. Yeah, so you that's know, why she's saying hope that. is not a plan. I hope it's okay. We know it's not. A, no, 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 no. Hope is not a plan. Hope is actually not yeah, a plan. Not you a should plan. write that down. Yeah, hope is not write, a plan. Yeah, it's not a plan. Yeah, yeah. All right. Question. Somebody else said this is the marriage that Christ Himself joined, hmm. and you honor God with your marriage. Maybe I should also say this. It's not about you two. Your marriage is about Christ, so let Christ be glorified in you too. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. Thank you so much. We'll we really just, appreciate we'll do, it. By the grace of God, do Amen. just that. Thank Amen. you. Thank you for that comment. Um, somebody else said, I pray I'll find a partner like you, pretty woman. Oh, that's my wife. Receive Amen. it. Amen. From your mouth Receive to God's it. ears. There is a grace for marriage. Hmm. Yeah, there mm. is a grace for marriage. There is grace for wealth. There is grace for, you know, prosperity. There is grace for children. There is grace for this. There is grace for that. And there is grace for marriage. For as many that desire to be married, we share the grace because we are partakers of that grace. We share the grace of marriage with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How do you manage to sort out your differences, likes and, and dislikes? Yeah. When we have misunderstandings, we see to eat that no matter the heat somebody mellows and just says i'm sorry and you know and we're good from there yeah humility yeah yeah and i also have this just like my husband said i always have this i have this mindset that once is more than 24 hours then the devil's hand is inside mm. so no matter what you know you just come to that place that you're conscious of the fact that the devil is not happy that you are happy yeah you know and so he's going to do everything possible to another thing again is that you just have to be conscious of the fact that you know one has to um be the matured one. be the matured one i always tell my husband that once i am immature please be the matured one because me i'm small i'm the small one you, you are the big one you are older than me you know so be the matured one and then another thing that we also use is the is the little children's principle we have agreed to be babies so a child whenever you offend a child you will always go back when you go back to the child, the child is always ready to, you know, come. No matter if, if you, even if you beat the child, the child is always ready to come to you for a As hug if nothing happened. And maybe. for yeah, so yeah. we just we just um manage it by talking, communicating, being humble, and yeah. A lot of communication. A lot of communication. Yeah, likes and dislikes. So you mean the things I like that she doesn't like yeah. or the things you like yeah. and I don't like? Yeah. How, how do you manage that? For me, I think we come to a, po a compromise. Mm. Okay, We come to a compromise and then we understand the fact that in this marriage, you cannot be selfish. It cannot always be about, about you. you. Yeah. So you have to come to a place whereby, yes, but can I give it to him as a gift? Yeah. You know, yeah. can he give it to me as a gift? Yeah. I, he, he he probably knows that I'm not. He's not comfortable doing what I like, but he's just going to give it to me anyways as a gift because yeah. because there is no room for selfishness. There is no room for, you know, it's not just all about. Going further, somebody said, I assume these two people don't quarrel or have misunderstanding in any way. I just admire this couple and love the strong woman in you. Thank you. I, I think we've addressed the part of, you know, misunderstanding. We, we did and... quarrel. <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody else said, I just love both of you. Thank you so how much. How you both met, how you started attending his church. Just so in oh, somebody this that has worked. to be a fan. Yeah, thank you so was. much. Just so interesting how he came late to pick you. <laughs> well, thank you for that comment. We appreciate we appreciate. <laughs> and just in case you're new to this channel, you can just you know check in our description box um how we met. We'll do well to put the link down there so yeah, you can there. see how we met yeah love the friendly bond between the both of you i love to i love to see playful couples my question now is when you both met where was their financial stability at least to an extent if yes what were the benefits or disadvantages mm. and if no how did you both build to this point and what were the benefits or disadvantages Hmm. So it's a jump question. No? <laughs> well, we'll do well to answer. I think um yes, there was there was some form of financial um stability. Stability in the <laughs> sense that you have what to eat, you have a roof over your head, you have clothes, you know, you have the basic you know needs and all of that. So the, there was no disadvantage to that because, I mean, it is good that when you're preparing to marry someone, I don't personally, I do not believe that he has to be a billionaire or he has to be a millionaire for you to marry him. All you need is that he has a job. And in my own case, my husband was not lazy. He was going out and he was getting, you know, one or two together and i felt like now you know um things can only get better from here i mean so yes there was some level of um, um stability and there is no disadvantage to that so yeah i don't know if you have yeah i mean you said you said you had pretty much everything there was, there was a level of financial stability uh, we're not exactly where we wanted to be, yeah. yeah, but at least we're comfortable, yeah. And then getting into the marriage, we keep, we have, we have, we have been, you know, trying improving on that and yeah. working towards growing, working so hard, you know, growing it, and we're trusting God for, you know, bigger doors. Finally, somebody said, I assume Karen didn't want to get married at the age she got married. Oh, really? Mm. Such an as I did. <laughs> I wanted to yeah. in fact I prayed about it I told God I wanted to get married at the age of 25 and I got married at the age of 25 just in case you think I am one baby one very small <laughs> girl that is just 23 you know um, no I got married at the age of 25 and I'm so grateful to God that God answered my prayer uh, yeah, yeah. All right, next assumption says you both are real and true to each other. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so no for me. Yeah. We are very real. No for Please, me, for no me. No energy to fake. Because we have forever to spend. Oh, forever God. is such a long time you that you don't saying, start faking. I keep now. saying that. Please, Please, forever, I beg forever, you forever is such a long God. time. Forever is such a long for, time. Who for me help? Who for me help? My best friend. My best friend. She's my everything. If I phone for her or more. I'm just a wasted person. I can't form for you. You man, you man. <laughs> I like this one. What? <laughs> this next one I'm about to read. Next assumption says, my wife is the stubborn one. <laughs> is it true? Is it true? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's <laughs> quite <cool. laughs> I'm not stubborn. Baby, you are stubborn. <laughs> Me, <laughs> yeah. you, the you are very the person that stubborn. Said you are the, you are the stubborn one. She, she, the person must have known you. Really? Yes. You, you are not stubborn. But because this 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 question was from your was from your IG. Uh huh. But you are stubborn. <laughs> well, well. You are very stubborn. I'm not stubborn. Well, we are both not stubborn then. We, there's no stubbornness here. <laughs> the stubbornness is... It says stubbornness is, is as good as witchcraft. Hey! It's in Bible now. Are you serious? Yes, now. 
stubbornness that uh -huh. Buddha's witchcraft. Yeah, there's no witchcraft here. There's no stubbornness. We are of the Lord. Of the Lord. We, but sometimes you can be stubborn. Forget. <laughs> we hope we did justice to all of these assumptions. And thank you so much for sending us your assumptions. We really love it when we interact and when we communicate to hear what your opinion is or what your assumption is about us. Please do well to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Yeah. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> do the intro. Do the intro. What do I say? What have I been saying? What do I say? It's not my channel. So how do I say welcome back to my channel? See, it's the two has become one. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Omoele Damilola and I'm Karen's husband. It's a privilege to be doing this intro today. If you are new here, welcome. Where have you been the rest of your lives? If you are always coming back. You're welcome. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and drop a comment on this video. Um, we're going to be answering, you know, assumption questions that you guys are sent to us. And uh, promises to be a great time, I'm sure. Yeah, so let's get right into the video. Can you understand that it's actually not easy? I did well. Oh, you did. Oh, no. <laughs>